Hey everybody, Rubber Mold Man here. Just wanted to do a quick video. Uh, first, I do want to tell you that at this point, I will be trying to do a new video every one to two weeks. Uh, finally got things in order with my family life and all the health crisis we've been going through, so uh, you might want to keep checking back for tips and tricks on making good statuary, as well as all those painting tips I'll be uh, taking videos of. This is a quick video, though, where I wanted to uh, talk about mixing plaster of Paris with your cement mixture when making statues. That is something I never personally did. In all the years I've done this business, never did that. I worked a little with Plaster Paris separately, mostly just made my concrete statues. Now here's a concrete statue that is made with uh, my mixture that I've talked about in my older video, where it's Portland cement, sand, gravel, with water as needed to make it creamy. And I pour it into the molds. This is a mold that I made for this uh, cute little turtle. And that is the statue that came out and it has been sitting outside in storage for about a year, maybe a little longer. Uh, as you can see, no weathering. You know, he's a little dirty from sitting down in the grass, but uh, he's in perfect condition. And at this point, you know, obviously I could paint him up just fine and he'd be good to go. And he'd still be brand new and he'll probably last for decades. Now here's the thing, I saw the last couple of years some people online commenting how they are mixing plaster of Paris with their cement mixture and supposedly having great results. So I wanted to test that to see if it was true. So let me show you this. See those two statues there? You probably noticed something about them. Take a closer look there. Turn it around there. Chunk of his face missing. Look at this guy cracked all the way through. Cracked up there. Here's the thing, folks. About a year ago, I experimented with mixing plaster of Paris in cement mixture, and I cast, I'm gonna say, 35 to 40 different pieces. Painted up a couple and brought them home because I wasn't gonna sell them, I just left them out to see how they would weather. As you can see, they don't hold up well. And here's the crazy thing, folks. I'm only showing you these two because out of about the 40 of them that I made, these are the only two that actually survived <laughs> to that, not that they're in good shape, but uh, they're still in one piece somewhat. Every other single piece, whether I used a little bit of plaster in the mix or a lot of plaster, completely crumbled into garbage. Um, so these are the only two I have, and I'm thinking these two probably lasted a little better because I painted them. I'm thinking the paint probably acted as a bit of a sealer and helped protect them a bit. But as you can see, they're garbage. There's no way you could make a product like that and sell it to your customer. So here's the thing. I will say this, when I mixed the plaster in with the cement and cast the items, it made the mix super creamy, really nice and creamy. And the pieces, for the most part, came out virtually flawless at first. They were super smooth, hardly any air bubbles or anything of the sort, really nice at first. And at first I was thinking, hey, these folks may be onto something, this could be awesome. Uh, I also liked that it made it to where you could demold the items much faster because it heated up the cement, caused it to cure faster. You could take the items out of the mold a lot sooner than normal. The problem is these cracks started appearing on items within just a few weeks generally. Uh, some worse than others. Um, and like I said, these are the only two that I still have that haven't crumbled into just pebbles. And. I'll be honest with you, I'm going to see if I can use one hand here and try to break it. I don't know. I mean, there's... Oh, there. See? There was just virtually no strength to these things whatsoever. I mean, there is gravel in there. Sand and gravel with my cement mixture. But they're garbage. Absolute garbage. I mean, you can't sell something that looks like this to a customer and expect them to be happy. Uh, so, I have to say, folks, I, I did a fairly thorough uh, test on this, and I have to say that adding plaster of Paris into your cement mixture is a big no. Don't do it. I didn't have a single one that turned out that lasted. And uh, to me, they're completely non-compatible materials. So I don't know what these people are talking about trying to recommend people do that because sure, it might look good for a few weeks, but once it's outside and weathered... Oh, and actually some of the items weren't even put outside. I kept a few in my garage at home in the corner just to see, and they all ended up crumbling as well. It's only these two pieces that I ended up painting to bring home that uh, survived somewhat, and as you can see, they're pretty much garbage anyway. So here you go, unpainted, but perfect condition statue that's at least as old as these guys, 
not a flaw on it, and that's how all the proper concrete statuary should look after, you know, years even. Uh, it weathers incredibly well. Plaster in your cement makes absolute garbage, so don't do it. You're going to waste your time, your money. You're going to make your customers angry because you're selling them garbage, so don't do it. Um, and that's probably about it for this video. If you have any questions, uh, check the description below the video, and I'll have my uh, contact info. And again, uh, subscribe if you like this information. I'll try to update with uh, new videos every one to two weeks and uh, see what I can do to help. If you have any questions to specific things, check that uh, contact info and you can contact me direct. Until next time, folks, thanks for watching and have a good day.